Hey everybody, Jim the Tabletop Engineer here. In this episode, I'm gonna make another piece of fantasy scatter terrain. I started this project by first defining the center point of a piece of chipboard and then using a compass to draw a circle. It's roughly one and a half inches radius, so three inch diameter. And then I uh, took parallel lines and ran them off of the circle. The lines were about an inch and a quarter um, wide, and I made four of these branching off from the center circle. These will be walkways. Then I used a knife to just cut out uh, this piece that I had drawn, and then I made marks every half inch. These will be the steps, and I will use these to cut away to make templates on quarter inch foam. You can see here that I'm cutting the bottom layer, and this will be the maximum length of the stairs. So I labeled this as number one, trim the uh, ends off, and then I take a pair of scissors and I cut off one step, and I repeat the process. I, I did this five different times to create five different layers, eventually ending up with just the final circle on top. Cut that out, and then I took uh, tacky glue and glued everything down put some weight on top and let this dry uh, for about eight hours. I wanted that glue to be nice and solid before I did any more work on it. After the glue was dried, I took a, uh, a blade and I just basically trimmed up extra anything that was hanging off. I also made the stairs all the same width. I took my Proxon and cut a bunch of bricks. These are all one quarter inch wide and um, I ran them through the Proxon. I can't tell you how many I made, but you can see I had probably about 10 to 12 sticks here. I took those bricks, put them in a container with rocks and shook them for about 30, 40 seconds. That dulls the bricks, makes them look worn. And then I used a lot of tacky glue, cover it and then use the bricks to build in the center areas. I took the compass and I made two interior circles that I widened with a blade and a pen. And then I drew in uh, the stones as if they were sort of arcs, pieces of uh, wedges, and used the pen to widen those as well. I gave the entire thing a coat of Mod Podge, white. Uh, I could have used the, the dark stuff, but I just wanted it uh, covered to, to toughen it up. Uh, after the Mod Podge dried, I created the steps and then black bombed the entire thing in matte black. Then I took a mix of gray and white and I took I, I alternated gray dry brushing, white dry brushing, gray dry brushing, white dry brushing until it came up to a level that I was happy with. You'll want to do this uh, based on your own needs. You could even paint the individual stones if you like, but I was just going for a very basic stonework. After that, I just added some little tufts of grass, various colors in, in the uh, corners of the steps and in various places to make it look a little more realistic. And here is the final little piece. It's nothing fancy, just a bunch of layers of quarter inch foam, but the end result is a really nice piece of scatter terrain.